guys, welcome back to my channel, Danielle here, and this video is very impulsive, very spontaneous, wasn't even supposed to happen, but the other day I ordered a crap ton of stuff off of Depop, it finally got in, and it's so dang cute. And the prices are pretty damn good too. I tried to give myself a budget of $20 per item, but like, realistically it was more like 15 so i do want to share some of these buyers that i personally buy from but also if you're part of the itty bitty titty community keep watching just because i did realize that all of these pieces are lingerie they're bustiers and corsets which is so different than what i would have purchased like seven years ago because i used to be really self-conscious about having small boobs and i didn't even realize i had small boobs until i started dating arthur when i was 18 and i just like grew this really unhealthy obsession of comparing my body with other women's bodies and just realizing where the hell are my boobs like i don't have any and it just made me feel very unwomanly and just in media, Latinas are portrayed to be very busty, have a lot of butt, just curves everywhere. And I am so far from that. I have no boobs, no butt. I'm very much rectangle and I'm okay with that. But it was a journey, not gonna lie. And I did refrain from wearing lingerie as casual wear, things with underwire, and of course, plunging necklines. And at one point, I did come to like, okay, I'll just get a boob job but really I was super scared of just going under the knife because it's such an invasive surgery and I've only ever gotten stitches once and that was when an elevator literally tore off my elbow. So don't wanna do that again because the pain, uh, I have a very low pain tolerance. But I am for cosmetic surgery. I just don't necessarily think it's the right route for me. But again, it's your choice. Just as long as it's not to please anyone else because at the end of the day, you're gonna be the one with the final product. But nowadays, I am learning to just lean more towards, you know, being sexy and not necessarily cute, which I always put myself into this box. So I'm gonna show you which lingerie pieces I picked up that are best for smaller chests. So let's get into it. Let's talk about buyer number one, which is Bunny Kills. I found them and they have a crap ton of lingerie pieces at really reasonable prices. Plus, on top of that, they offer free shipping. So how could I not pass up? So I ended up purchasing two items and the first one is this really cute lingerie top. And this is a brand, Necessary Objects, which I absolutely love because a lot of their pieces tend to be dead stock. So I know that I have one of a kind. And let me bring you in a little closer just because we have underwire cups. Never in a million years would I have purchased something with underwire cups. Weird thing too is that this is actually sized at a 34C and I am a 34A cup. So not even my period boobs would be able to be like this big, but for some reason it works on my really small bust. And I'm thinking because of the little frill detail that we have here and the very spandexy material that kind of just shrinks in. So everything's already lifted hugged and fitted yes i absolutely love this we're keeping it more fun on the top just have some plain trousers on the bottom some mary janes and fishnet socks here we have the second item that i got from bunny kills in the listing i think it just said lingerie so i honestly had no idea what i was getting whether it was going to be a top or a slip and for me it's somewhere in between, but can't complain too much because the price is really good. And this is a Victoria's Secret piece, which I've seen on Depop go for like, probably over 50, $60. So I definitely got a deal with this one. And it is very feminine, very flirty. So wanted to tone it down a little bit at the bottom. And I was pulling a little bit of green from the embroidery that we have here because it is covered in flowers. So we're just doing some very low rise flare leg pants and some brown boots. But this top is very sexy because it is totally mesh construction on the bodice here. The only thing that is lined are the cups, which are also underwire. So girls out there who also have very small boobs, y'all know that finding sexy pieces is very hard to come by, especially in our smaller sizes, because usually, not gonna lie, sometimes have to shop in like the preteen, teenager section that is very either like kiddish and has prints that I don't want to be flaunting or they're just very nude, solid, and boring. So ultimately, if you do find a really sexy piece that has underwire cups in your size, 
totally snatch it. But I do just want to emphasize that if you are going to do an underwire cup, it's important to know your size because I think my issue when I was younger is that I was going for these underwire cups that were just way too big for me. So don't be ashamed if you have to go smaller because it's going to look better on you. Here we have the next top and I feel most me in this outfit. Yes, totally love it. But this is from the shop Rebel Stardust. I'll put it up right over here. And you guys, proceed with caution when shopping here because it is a super badass shop. They do make some of their own apparel and then they have some dead stock pieces like this here, but they have a lot of bad reviews, I'm not gonna lie. And most of it has to do with bad communication, shipping. The issue that I had with mine is I had absolutely no communication when I purchased and I am very big on that. And so it kind of made me wonder, was my order received? Will I ever get my order? But when I finally did get my order, this corset was bent in half. And keep in mind that there is boning throughout this bustier. So when I took it out of the package, it was literally like a U shape upside down U shape. And so structurally, it did kind of damage the bustier. So we're still working on just straightening it out a bit. But pricing was pretty good because I only paid $20 for this. I actually have another one in pink. This one I got from Magma Vintage and I spent around $32, $35, which if you guys know me and the fact that I'm a cheap ass, that is very outside of my budget. So knowing that I can only get it for $20 plus add on another piece for free shipping, such a steal. But these bustiers are very flattering for small chests just because it cinches in the waist and then lifts everything up. So super, super nice. And it does have just a hook and eye closure on the back. This is pretty much my favorite piece of the entire haul, but let's move over to the second piece that I got from the shop. Here we have the second item and I love this. I think it's super flirty. Again, something that would normally take me outside of my comfort zone just because it does have a plunging neckline, but also it is very padded. Like the cups feel like there's styrofoam up in here. Like it is very, very padded. So I feel like it almost gives a very weird shape to them. But I mean, I could easily make a little slit on the inside and just pull the padding out. One piece of advice I do have if you are worried about plunging necklines is just make sure that the top has adjustable shoulder straps. So that way you can pull it up and adjust it to your chest size as you need. But because this shirt has a lot going on, I mean, we have the mesh hem, it's also pointed. We have sequins and beads and also this like little waist cinching tie. Wanted to keep it more minimal on the bottom. So we've got some zebra and demonies, of course, for some height. Here we have our next item and it is this Fredericks of Hollywood dupe corset and this was totally my fault. It was only $14 and the shop is I'm underscore Gabs. And in my mind, I was thinking, what a freaking steal. Fredericks of Hollywood for only $14? Well, the brand wasn't listed and I also didn't ask. So I just assume I was getting a good brand at a really good deal, but it's actually a dupe and it is very see-through. So if I'm flashing nips, I'm super sorry. There isn't too much sun coming into my loft, so I think I'm safe, but really you can just tell that the quality is just not there. There also isn't a size in this corset and you'd imagine because it's just strapless, it's a straight line right across that it would be pretty safe if you have a smaller bust. But I have the back totally tightened and we just have a lot of room here. So if I bend down any lower, I'm gonna be flashing you guys. So that's just something to consider. I don't have this issue with like true Fredericks of Hollywood pieces, but with dupes, just be aware of all this spacing because I'm not able to fill this in. But I did keep it pretty casual. We just have a crop little sweater and then this zipper plaid skirt and then Mary Jane's again. So here we have a true Fredericks of Hollywood corset and this is from the shop Destiny Sanchez. And overall it was a pretty good experience but it's another case of you get what you pay because I believe it was only $15 and there is a lot of fading going on and a lot of pilling. So it is gonna take, you know, a little bit of labor work on my end just to clean it up a bit more. But we do have more of like a granny chic style here with some vintage Levi pants. And then this granny sweater that I recently picked up, absolutely love it. And of course, the black corset. So like I was saying earlier, this is real Fredericks of Hollywood and if it's very nicely, it's also tightened all the way and we don't have that like extra space or like bubble of room that needs to be filled in. So try to stay away from dupes because if you do have a smaller chest, 
the real genuine brand will work so much better and it's just so much more flattering. We're down to our last item and it's this really cute red top. I'm just starting to realize that this haul had a very, very little variation when it came to color, but y'all know that I really love red and black, so it is what it is. But this top is from the shop Shell X Vintage. Again, really good prices, open to offers and negotiating. So this one I feel like is super good, especially if you do have a smaller bust because it is super fitted. I haven't even wearing a bra right now, but it also mimics the style of a bustier top, and so it has faux boning. It's there's absolutely no structure to this. Like it is very soft and it's super flattering too just because of the sweetheart neckline. Anything that shows off a little bit of collarbone, oh, I absolutely love it. But this time I just paired it with, I don't know if I can show you guys, but it's just a long patchwork maxi skirt and then of course, demonias. But you guys, that pretty much does it for the end of this little Depop haul. If you liked any of the pieces, let me know in the comments down below if there was a certain shop that you resonated well with, totally go hit them up. They have very reasonable prices. Just. Beware guys, read the reviews before anything or before dropping money just to be on the safe side. But hopefully this video gave any of y'all who do have little A cup babies or are part of the itty bitty titty community some confidence to wear that piece that you thought you could never rock. But I would have wished for someone to just like sit down 18 year old Danielle and been like, it's okay to have small boobs. There's so many pros like not having to wear a bra. So if you have any pros, let me know down below. But as always, I do try to post videos at least once a week. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!